While King Charles appeared to be the image of royalty in his full regalia, eagle-eyed fans spotted some more understated elements in the traditional portraits released to mark his coronation. Traditional portraits marking King Charles and Queen Camilla's coronation have been issued to round off the monarchy's landmark occasion. As the weekend of festivities came to a close, Charles issued a special written message, saying, We thank you, each and every one. The king said he and Camilla gave our most sincere and heartfelt thanks to all those who have helped to make this such a special occasion. He also paid tribute to the countless people who have given their time and dedication to ensuring that the celebrations in London, Windsor and further afield were as happy, safe and enjoyable as possible. Among the new images released were solo portraits of the king and queen, as well as one of them together and a group image of the entire working royal family. And while Charles appeared to be the image of royalty in his full regalia, eagle-eyed fans spotted some more understated elements in the traditional portraits. Here are all the hidden details that you may have missed. Kate's Outfit Edition. The Princess of Wales added a necklace to her coronation outfit for the official photos. In the group image of the working royals, Kate could be seen wearing Queen Elizabeth II's George VI festoon necklace, which George VI commissioned for his daughter Princess Elizabeth in 1950. The statement necklace features a three-strand diamond design containing 105 loose collet set diamonds from the royal vault into a necklace, introduced into the crown collection by his mother, Queen Mary. Kate had been expected to wear the accessory during the coronation ceremony, but it appeared to be missing from her outfit on the day. It is not known exactly why, but it may have been removed in order not to overwhelm her Royal Victorian Order mantle that was topped with a silver bullion, Alexandra McQueen dress and leaf embroidery headpiece by Jess Collett x Alexander McQueen. Sophie's Sweet Gesture Sophie held onto Princess Alexandra's arm while standing on some steps, image, PA. The Duchess of Edinburgh was seen extending a caring hand to Princess Alexandra, the Honourable Lady Ogilvy. Sophie held onto the princess arm while standing on some steps, while the Duke of Edinburgh offered a steadying hand on her wrist. Princess Alexandra, 86, has served as a bridesmaid at a number of notable royal and aristocratic weddings, but most notably at the late Queen's wedding in 1947. As one of the most active members of the royal family, Princess Alexandra completed around 120 engagements each year for decades. The King and Queen's website still lists her as a working member of the royal family. Camilla's heartfelt nod. Camilla was pictured alongside the King, and also in a solo portrait, wearing Queen Mary's crown, with the train of her lengthy embroidered robe of estate spread in front of her.
While the stunning gown looked fit for any royal, the dress was meaningfully and specially crafted for the former Duchess of Cornwall. In a sweet detail, Camilla's gown paid tribute to her two Jack Russells, who were honored in gold thread. In addition to the personal dog figures, the white fabric was intricately embellished with other designs, including a variety of flowers, and the name of her grandchildren. While the dogs were an obvious nod to Camilla's beloved pets, the floral stitching was a tribute to her husband. Couture designer Bruce incorporated the flower garlands and leaves in honor of King Charles since the pair share a love of the great outdoors. Kate's nod to the Four Nations Kate wore a white ivory Alexander McQueen gown paired with a Jess Collet X Alexander McQueen headpiece. Her regal robe came complete with intricate silver embroidery depicting rose, thistle, daffodil and shamrock motifs to represent each of the four home nations. Meanwhile, Kate also paid a subtle nods to Princess Diana with her jewelry choice. She wore Diana's pearl and diamond earrings, which she has been pictured wearing many times before in the past. Kate and Sophie's honors. The Princess of Wales and Duchess of Edinburgh were both spotted wearing a sash to signify their positions as Dame Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order, which is equivalent to a knight. The order is also represented by a Maltese cross, typically worn near the bottom of the sash. The late Queen appointed Kate as a Dame Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order on her and Prince William's eighth wedding anniversary. She wore the sash for the first time for the state banquet held in honor of Donald Trump's visit in 2019. Awards under the Royal Victorian Order are made personally by the monarch, and not on the recommendations of Downing Street unlike many of the others handed out. Charles' new royal cipher. In his written message accompanying the images, the king signed his words Charles R. The R stands for Rex, which means king in Latin. The late queen had the cipher er but it meant something different, as the R is for the Latin word for queen, which is Regina. The tradition of signing with the initial R goes back centuries for English monarchs as far as Henry I in the early 12th century, and is used to designate authority of the sovereign. Charles' use of his cipher points towards an affirmation for the rest of his reign, as the king said he and Camilla would now rededicate our lives to royal service.